In the North Sea, the Bard Offshore One wind farm is under construction. The sea is calm, so the workers can install the next foundation for a wind turbine. The workers have to move quickly. Only 16 of the planned 80 units are generating power. There are four jack-up barges with heavy-duty cranes for the installation work. These pipes, for instance, will be rammed into the bottom of the sea. A few hundred meters away from the wind farm, the tugboat Wolf 7 is waiting in position. It's hauling the next foundation element, which weighs about 500 tons. Good evening. So I'm at the east of the wind field and I want to cross the wind field to the west if it's possible. Just stand by, please. Captain Arne Budweg wants to deliver the foundation element, but the jack-up barge in the wind farm is still busy with something else. For the tug's crew, waiting is part of the job. But there's real sailor's work to be done, too. Is this busy work? Busy work. It has to be done. We have to wind the cable around this, otherwise we have to keep doing it by hand. It's easier this way. It's happened before that they've waited up to two weeks out here. That's frustrating, especially when the sea is as calm as it is now. And time is running out. Captain Budweg needs six hours to unload a foundation element. I've hauled out 55 of those things. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Mostly it doesn't work. But that's because of the weather. And you can't anticipate the weather. The tugboat has to stay in constant motion day and night to keep the load it's towing from crashing into it. And that uses up fuel. It's just before midnight, but at the wind farm, work continues. On the jack-up ship, mechanics and engineers are assembling as much as they can. They want to take advantage of the calm seas. The Bard Company, which is building the wind farm, wants to make up for lost time. The costs increase every week. The original estimate for this project was 2 billion euros. That has now increased to 3 billion. Back in Cuxhaven, the pressure is also increasing. This is where Bard manufactures the foundation elements. The storage facility is full. Bard sees itself as a pioneer. It's building Germany's first fully commercial wind farm. The original plan was for Bard Offshore One to be completed last year. Now we expect to be done in mid or late 2013. There have been delays due to the challenge of working in 40 meters of water with wind and weather. Two years? A two-year delay, yes. Back on the tugboat, the crew waits outside the wind farm. The delivery has been cancelled for today and they have to head back to port. The weather forecast is for strong winds and it takes 10 hours to get back to port. Shortly before they reach the coast, a pilot boards the tug. That's required by law. The pilot and the captain steer the tug back into the harbor. The whole journey took three days. And next week they'll try again. The Bard Offshore One wind farm remains a challenge for everyone involved. <laughs>